Daigwei Gwaiti Ahono. My name is Mukaro Agwebana, and I just greeted you in my indigenous Taino language. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to introduce the 2022 Poetry Slam for Peace. For me, poetry is so important because it's an art form that helps us understand and appreciate the world around us. The Poetry Slam for Peace understands the crucial role creative communities play in this expanding reality to which we've been introduced. This year's Poetry Slam showcases amazing artists from all around the world speaking in diverse voices, yet all in unison. So without further ado, let's sit back and enjoy the 2022 Poetry Slam for Peace. I want you to believe in love again. Not the one in a romantic dreamland, not the I bought your favorite flowers kind of love, not even the blood bonds us kind, but that type, which is the purpose, creator and flow of life itself. I spent years trying to find the meaning. Like a blindfolded Indiana Jones, I was hurting my bare feet on the burning stones of every moment thinking each step would take me closer to the answer. Till one day, I realized the answer has always been right here. And recognizing it was simply like coming home after a long trip, thirsty. I want you to believe in love again, love as a God you don't need to pray to because it would mean praying to yourself and that is simply breathing. Love as a force that makes us connect with people, those connections, yes, I know you can think of some right now, the click you hear when the world goes on mute for a second. And there's just you and your friend sharing the same beat. Two drums, same music, echoing from one chest to another like a tender lullaby that could go on forever. Love as a magic wand from the tip of which nature emerged like a flame to warm our senses every time you see a tree. Take it as a proof that your rhythm is right, always will be. I want you to believe in love again, trust me, because I let my guards down in front of it, admitting I'm nothing but a cop to hold it, trust me, when I tell you it doesn't hurt. Love doesn't hurt. It neither destroys nor creates confusion, it heals. Everything is a bright testimony of its existence every day, a humble promise of its return, the only fuel that keeps us going when there's no other reason. And if you're hurting, open your ribcage wider, you're here, the rhythm of the drums. We are beating for you. It's the song of love and I hope we'll be able to sing it together because my heart is out and out singing from the top of its blood cells and I have nothing to cover it with. And that's okay, because it's the only way some will start believing in love again. I hope you can be one of them. It's already 1am, only two minutes ago that the ladies at the side of the road were getting fish ready, pulling their cuts out. My sister went off to school, scrapbook in hands, flashing her homework project. What does it mean to be free? We love free, do we not? It's like a waiter's tip. I heard Naika selling free lipsticks, free bottle openers with Kisan jams, free tickets to Aruba. If you buy this Coca-Cola can, okay, 10,000 of these Coca-Cola cans. It's a great life, man, it's a great life. Unless you see the rope, string tied to your neck, like a Sikh kebab hanging outside the tandoor grill. What does it mean to be free? Do we ever read through it, grow into it, demand for it? We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India, people sitting at the top are making decisions that you and I are consuming as the morning newspaper taps in crime and violence, lack of compassion, 
but what is this dog anyway? Do we want to buy fish from the side of the road? Do we want to give our children scrapbooks to do projects in? Fancy dinners, waiters tip, teeth sunken, juicy kebabs, unless it's 1 a.m. and the pain of the suffering is so deafening, we forget, we do have a voice. Walk with me. Sometimes my shoes are too heavy for my ankles, beckoning with the ground for an escape, carrying my entire being on their fractured backs like praying mothers who bend their backs at the sound of their children's empty bellies. Walk with me. Journey with me through the intricacies that lie between my battle scars where once hope tattooed itself against my skin using a razor blade, mocking the very idea of life. I no longer fight using my wrists, but now it is with my voice, my key weapon being a metaphor, walk with me. Visit my home that lies scattered on the floor. Each piece was once a heartbeat now covered in dirt, Embraced by the songs our grandmothers sing at funerals, careful. Follow closely so I don't leave you behind. I stand a broken puzzle seeking to mend broken people, hoping there is significant enough meaning in the ability of my brokenness to be put together. Like the perfect poster girl for broken people, follow me. I have things to say. Understanding that each poem is a podium, I lead this protest with my voice. I 
So give me your ear, my friend. I have advice to lend and ways of life to men. Rhythmic syncopation, my occupation, requires your concentration as I navigate my translation. Telling you what I'm knowing if you don't like where you're going or the road the life show and rock the boat. Start rowing. Face what you're fearing when you feel the end is near. And I'm talking, you're hearing, stop, easy ride. Start steering, try to be an original, not another dupe. Be an individual, the leader of the group. Don't just look, try to see. Don't just act, try to be. A thinker, a player, a writer, a sayer, a maker, a buyer, but not a liar. Live by a creed, a lot free, free. Stop easy riding. Set your Life can be a game, but your hands are dealt the same. You gotta learn how to play, when to fold, when to stay. Joker's wild, the deck stacked and piled. If somebody calls your bluff, poker face won't be enough. It's like that, it's like that. Life choices can be hard, unless you draw a good trump card. No matter what the crowds do, it is you. You should be true to one time. You'll be faceless, a royal flush that is aceless. You could be king for a day, then have it taken away. It's a price you have to pay, it's like that. Like Wanna that. find your inner wealth, navigate your life yourself. Set your course for mental health. Remember, life is but a stage. You've got the power to write each page of your script and all your glory. Navigate the course for your own life story. Face what you're fearing when you feel the end is near. Come write a song with me. Really means come become strong with me. And when I say come and sing with me, I mean become the wind with me. And if you finna win with me, then come be the symphony. Cause we need freedom movements that are rocking like it's midnight on the dance floor and the DJ not stopping. I'm talking about composing chants so golden that we could hold light with our hands still open. And we could have protests that everyone noticed cause we are the boldest, most beautiful opus flowing right through the walls cause nothing can hold us. And I know that you know this beautiful feeling of melodies molding us into healing. When you feel that yes of our voices revealing us interwoven. So yeah, I'm hoping that you open to composing. Freedom songs we can sing from the Bronx to Oakland. Gathering organizations and writing original jams for justice and liberation. I'm just saying, I don't know why we waiting. Cause we can have songs to pass on hard earned wisdom. Songs to celebrate the powerful leadership of women. We could have songs to keep us all on the same beat. We could have songs to tell everybody, yo, it's time to take the street. We could have songs to release our pain and songs to lift up our campaigns. We could have songs to change everything. How it feels to go to work, how it feels to be alive. Cause when you carry in a song, what you really have is the power to change the vibe. So instead of meetings that start with, all right, cool, what's on the agenda? We could open our hearts with a song that honors the dignity of all of our members and then close out with a chant for those who taught us to remember. We gonna organize until justice is real and we won't stop cause it's raining. We poured down like we made it. I'm talking about being creative. That's why this is a poem promoting the training cause we are way too amazing to just follow the norm. If we sound and look like the system we trying to change, 
my people. And we got lost in the storm. But if we have the courage to bring out the voice inside us, it will become the voice that unite us. And the rest of the world is going to be like, damn, that's the voice that should guide us. And it won't matter if they want to keep us lost or divided because our souls will still riot with the most profound truths. You are part of me. And if we sing out into this darkness, we will find each other in the harmony. I'm a man, born into a land dominated by the masculine. Power hungry lust filled men fearing the feminine. Finding my ways to lock her in. Testosterone bubbling, pushing and shoving them competition to covenant. Violence paving the presidents. What's the relevance? The bigger, the stronger, the better stance. Dodging and weaving, silently scheming, dreaming of power and prestige. To seize any and every. Tom, Nick and Jerry, the gay and the merry. Those of us who want very little yet. Simple riddles got us stuck in the middle of a rock in a hard place. A cock in a rat race, a tide shoelace lands me flat on my face, questioning if I'm a part of this man race. Cause everywhere I look, the man in me is disgraced. From rapes to hate crimes, big guns to landmines, blurry lines between what's unfit and what's fine. I'm at the end of my line, barely holding on, losing my mind. We're all the gentlemen. Are we mankind or just mean men on a domineering binge? We're all the real men. Who stand for something, love and protect all life for the storm that's coming in. What does it mean to be a man these days? I'm lost in a maze of self-discovery, this current framework doesn't fit me. My true form is hard to see, clothed in the layers of conformity. I look within, asking deeper questions. Mixed messages turn frustration to aggression. I'm confronting bigger lessons, what then? In these turbulent waters I swim. There's no instructions on how to play this game. So I've learned through hardship and pain, surviving still to remain on top of the food chain. Every day more of the same, more opportunity to gain wisdom to turn this poison into medicine. Truth hits me like a stampede of elephants. Finally, all this confusion makes sense, always searching outside of myself for some reference of my existence. Money, fame, fashion, for instance, all forms of material codependence. On a fine line I dance, living in this world, but not of it. Cultivating my spirit like a shaman in the desert, my oasis is my connection with the spacious sky. The earth under my feet, my heart beats steadily, reminding me I'm more than meat and bone covered by skin. There's a spirit alive within, a fire burning, lessons I'm learning all part of my training. Inside it's raining, quenching the shame and the blaming, waxing and waning, rising, gaining new insight, use my pain and strife as fuel to quicken my life. Use my mistakes and challenges as stepping stones to retrieve my innocence. The storehouse of untouched gems and presents. That's where I find my essence. take care of one's own feelings, one needs to validate them, to invite them to dinner for a long talk, to discuss about issues, to consider them as chosen family, to demand respect for them, to not ignore them but to not shelter them either, to share them when they are confusing, to say the feelings are being confusing. Not with shame, but with care, awareness. The feelings are messy. Let's give them some time to entangle themselves. Let's see if other feelings around are clearer. Let's mark them as safe. Let's arrange words around them so that we can call them when we need them. Um, let's try. 
This is how it feels to be sad. This is how it feels to be frustrated. Inspired, discouraged, excited, surprised. Let's hug some feelings inside words so that they can feel secure. Not to imprison them, no, but to give them a different kind of freedom. Uh, freedom to fly out of one's heart and be felt by others. Not to slave feelings inside words, but to recognize them as something more than just emotions. And we might be able to see them now and call them by their name. We might be able to consider them a birthplace of songs to be sang with others, with a common language of shared emotions, for a better exploration of one's own thoughts, for a better understanding of a present dimension and the full picture of our flows and our tensions. And hopefully, finally, to intentionally knit together the fabric of a truly shared world. Forgiveness. In a canoe, trying to paddle, moving my arms and hands, no forward movement, the constant battle. Water filling the vessel, all up in my nostrils comes the death roll. I can't submit. This just has to quit. What must I do? What can I forgive? Forgiveness. To let go to take hold of my life. The drops of emotional baggage brought forth by erroneous thoughts of being damaged, damaged by fate, damaged by hate, damaged by being born in the midst of a race forlorn. The society tells me that I must submit, that if I don't, I'll be seen as an old angry thing. I can't submit. I don't, I won't subscribe to that. I must reach higher. I must not tire of knowing that my life is desired. I am pure light. I may not have been what is seen as brought up right, but I am light. I forgive. I let go of those thoughts that would make me, have me, accuse me of being not. Those thoughts that have little girls out in this world trying to catch snares full of dragons and whales. That big beluga that is full of sugar that knows just what to say and how to move on this water on which I float in this canoe. Well, look here. My canoe is no longer filled. Once I forgive, forward I move. Forward in love with you. Each and every one of us must realize that it can all disappear very quickly. The job, the front tire, the walls, all our necessities, including love, rest on foundations of sound at any given cause, no matter how unrelated. It's 7.30 in the morning. There's a huge fog covering up the violets that rest their seats at my front yard. I stare at them and wonder, is this a tragedy? or a miracle? Is this nature giving birth or is a funeral? There's a huge fog but it only lasts for a while and when it's gone, this is the leftover. That violent violet seeks for my dream. That quiet violent stays silent and screams towards to me. I wonder where love goes when it all fades away. Where this fog goes when the sunlight kills it for good. 
So I get out of bed. There is nobody there. People taught me that if you experience raw loneliness, you can define with one word your inner peace. And I did. And I am. I did. I am. I am. I said. I am. I said, I said I am. So I'm starting this new and wonderful day by feeding my cat and making coffee. I breathe this breathless breath and moments later inhale the smoke of the first cigarette. <sighs> Sun goes up. The clouds are nowhere to be found. I am happy. I am whole. I am feeling the perfection of solitude coming through me, keeping me numb beyond this neon horizon where people are not understanding solitude. And I am alone. I am alone in between lonely people with lonely dreams and lonely hopes. Beyond this imaginary line where the violets are almost blue, where people touch each other, touch me, touch you, where one plus one means full, where lies don't exist. We can only speak the language of truth the language of faith and loyalty i am i said i am we are I said we are, and we keep on going, keep on fighting to walk through this life like a parallel universe in another distant galaxy. We keep fighting and still surviving each and every day. Each and every day. Sun is down, the fog is coming back again and embraces the violets like a loyal lover. First kiss of the night, last kiss in the morning. If I could define peace, and I can, this would be it. That fog right before dawn, right after the sunset that stays with us a while and then is gone again. This is it. We don't see it, we cannot touch it, we only feel it, we wait for it, and there it is, right before dawn, in the darkest darkness, right after sunset, consistent and faithful, this is how magic works, in and out, out and in, again, again, we are all human, not to human. We are these mad dogs of glory moving this little bit of light towards us impossibly waiting for the fog to appear. Sitting under a tree, a cherry blossom worm falls on me. I agree with the worm. The worm obeys nature. Never mind your mind, she says. I agree nor disagree with the worm. I obey nature too. Who are you? Give me a reason to come to you. Diviner of birth and vegetation, marry yourself to yourself. Break your soil for seeds to grow. Break me so I can know pure mind inside your nature. My one becomes two, who each become one of you. Who are we but variations on a theme? So kiss me, I'm the wailing wall, the black stone. I have lips for all your ideas. I ask only that you come so when you arrive I can leave. Illusion, rest, I remove myself. Sitting under a tree, a cherry blossom worm falls on me. I agree with the worm. She parts not one truth from another.
Yebo was on Kondo Ukabatela. Now, the poem that I'm, I'm about to give you is entitled Folded Fists. With all these peace agreements that have been written, I would love to snatch each signing pen, drain its ink and inspect it. Perhaps it is pregnant with ocean blue tears that do not see reason for any resolutions until someone finds the solution of where to bury the bones. Or perhaps it's the pen itself. Maybe they are holding it wrong. It should have been on the other hand all along because no one in their right mind writes with the hand that shot the first bullet that killed the first child. So the pen rejected that lie and pretended to write, but withheld the real lasting peace inside. I often wonder why nations do not want a piece that comes curled up in a ball like a fetus, seeming defenseless. No, they would much rather insist on the one that charges out of the barrel of a gun and targets infants. A piece that comes from folded fists because open hands mean karate and that oils nobody's pockets. Because folded fists are so used to not giving, used to not lifting children up and throwing them into the sky so that they can feel for themselves how light they would be if their fragile spirits were snatched from their lungs, then forced to fight the heavy winds as they fly back into the sky. Folded fists that fear if, that if they are bold enough to become open hands, they might one day be expected to lift them up to wave at others. And they are scared that those others might decide to cross over and say something. But that is the point, isn't it? Have you ever heard the stories that people tell? There is something that happens when we pry our chests open with anything other than those guns we are often holding. When the whole cosmos of our being starts pouring out to tell its own story, there are some people who have never opened their mouth to tell their story. Because they left their voices inside burning villages, so they are still holding conversations inside scorching buildings which throw their minds out of windows to save them from themselves. If they were to cross over, find a folded fist that found itself and became a wave, a wave that became a wave of emotion repeated across the planet, stories pouring out of places where silence had stolen the moment, then all these open hands can become even bolder, enduring long enough to clap along to this new music, then break dance themselves into a multitude of peace signs. Zomkondo, Gabatela, Mzilangata, Bangazika, Siabong, Siabongaku, Makokoba. Whose peace are we waiting for? Using society as an excuse, a substitute for the truth, whose peace are we waiting for? When each war becomes a revelation of blood, each culture fodder for bored millionaires, a moving massacre of decency, still waiting for peace. Must be tired of being crank called, shouting its name in the same vein we streamline greed into. Chased by its own abomination, peace must be on the run by now. While we wait, so many wicked claw for it, making it a commodity so the poor can't afford it. What is peace beneath clouds of poison? Silent agreements we made choked the world with profits. No deed ever done in the dark, burning bright on trails of corrupted chemistry parading as organic culture while waiting on peace we've dug a hole for the earth. Arrogance convincing us we'd be last to climb in it. We'll all be vegan when the last heart stops. 
Living things still dying on our lips while we wipe our mouths with each other's lives. Bits of the peace consumed still bleeding on our plates and yet we wait for an end to wars of abounding. We wait for hands to stop raising in anger. We wait to join fingertips in all that makes a human give more than just caring. We wait for an awakening, see shards of sun shining and from our brokenness we shed old pelts of past mistakes, exchange what feels like pain for reverence. We wait for love to one up hate, gift each other our pieces, invite them into each other's bodies until there is no choice but to relate. When there is no option for haste, for peace, we wait. be well with the protectors of the progeny on earth. May they all lead with intelligence for a peaceful earth. May be well with the connection between us and permanence. May be well with all beings everywhere. In all of the birds, let there be happiness. Let there be auspiciousness everywhere. Let good fortune be everywhere. And let there be peace everywhere.
Yes, that was the 2022 Poetry Slam for Peace. What an amazing, talented group of poets. Such powerful spoken word. I say ha home. Thank you to all the artists who contributed their hearts and souls to this celebration of the many colors of peace. You were all simply amazing, outstanding. I want to also take a moment to say ha home to a global family of love and peace and our co-sponsors, including Purpose Earth, the Museum of World Religions, Con Space NYC, Unity Earth, the NGO Committee on Sustainable Development New York, and Wise Planet Media. Until next time, Amukaro Aguibana, Masinato Kena Kakona, peace and blessings to us all.